All right, everybody, here it is. It is time for the grand finale of Rajendra and all of Dynasties of India with, of course, Srivijaya. This little scrap of map was put on, uh, put here for a reason, and it's time to slay the dragon. I mean, Vitra. The empire of Srivijaya has ruled the Straits of Malacca for centuries. Their central position on this vital trade route has allowed them to grow wealthy and powerful beyond imagining. And now, their tentacles reach into my domains. For years, they have forced traders to make port when they pass through their waters. The trade ships now ignore our harbors, and the Srivijayan Emperor Sangrama is taking all of the riches that once ended up in our coffers. So far, I have been too preoccupied to challenge him. But this new status quo cannot be allowed to stand. I have decided to invade Srivijaya. It will be a military operation on a scale never seen before. A thousand ships and a million men. Crossing the ocean to deal death to this empire of middlemen. I have contended with empires before. But none of them hold a candle to the Srivijaya. Their navy dominates the eastern seas, and their fortresses are guarded by undefeated armies. For the first time in years, I doubt whether I can outmatch my opponent. But if I am to secure my legacy, I must strike hard and give them no time to prepare. This war will either be my undoing, or propel me to the greatness that I have dreamed of. It is a gamble that I must make. For he who dares at all, must dare it all. Thus, I go to slay my Vitra. Alrighty. I was wondering if Surya Varman would be here. Uh, establish a beachhead by capturing one of the castles marked on the minimap. To capture a castle, you must damage it so it has less than 1,000 HP. Uh, okay, so improve uh, army morale by using Regendra in combat. Regendra can support a pop limit of 200 and does not require any houses to maintain, but cannot produce any villages or troops until a town is conquered. Castles cannot be constructed, constructed only captured. The Shrivijaya are not prepared for an invasion on this scale. You can take advantage of their slowness, slowness to react for a time, but they will strike back sooner or later. You can order the Chola Navy to attack in specific locations by placing flares on the map. The Navy will be reinforced with new ships from India from time to time. Um, your Khmer ally, Surya of Arman, is embroiled in a war against the Tamberlinga Kingdom in the north. If you help him defeat the Tamberlinga, he'll be able to aid you in your invasion of Srivijaya. You can uh, coordinate... Okay. Um, much of Srivijaya's wealth comes from local villages that they control. Capturing these will deprive them of resources. And you can raid enemy supply depots. Okay. Uh, Rajendra has arrived in Srivijaya with at the head of a massive Chola navy, seeking to take advantage of Srivijaya's unpreparedness and to establish a beach beachhead for a full-scale invasion of the archipelago. Srivijaya is a vast empire with uh, the island of Sumatra at its core. While initially passive, it is uh, yeah not expecting an invasion, but they will still be a very fearsome opponent. Um, Saliendra is an eastern province of the Srivijayan Empire. Rumor has that they are more prepared for war than other parts of the Empire. If they decide to oppose you, they'll have stuff. To the north on the Malay Peninsula, your ally, Surya Varman, is waging war on the Tamberlinga Kingdom. Uh, the two will focus on fighting each other, but if you help them take out the Tamberlinga, Surya Varman will help deploy his uh, powerful army and navy and assist you in your conquest. Spread out across the island of Sumatra are a bunch of villagers. Okay, here we go. The Empire of Srivijaya lies at our feet. Let us find a suitable location to disembark and strike while the enemy is unprepared. It is high time that these pirates in royal clothing were put in their place. Okay. Um. So the Tamberlingas and Khmer are fighting each other. I feel like. It would be in our best interest to help out Surya Varman, but I feel like we should also not have to, like, Tamberlink Castle, Kadaram Castle, Lamuri Castle. Okay, let's just... The have their navy in the oh! 
they will be expecting an attack from this direction. But I believe that our navy is strong enough to face them head on. Oh, okay. Um. Well, then let's just where you command, your highness. let's just establish our beachhead over here. Then that's probably what we're supposed to do anyway. Our Khmer allies are occupied with fighting their old rivals. If we defeat the Tambrilinga, three of Armand's forces will be free to aid us in our struggle. Do we have Trebs? Oh, we have a bunch of like armored elephants and stuff. Got some vills in there. Okay, let's then garrison uh, these guys and then they can take down the castle. Um, oh no. Okay, today I learned you cannot unload on bridges. That sucks. The Empire of Shrivijaya lies at our feet. Let us find a suitable location to disembark and strike while the enemy is unprepared. Sir, it is high time that these pirates in royal clothing were put in their place. Okay. Certainly seems like a big grand epic finale. The villages on Sumatra provide Shrivijaya with many of its resources. We can take control of them. We might be able to bleed the enemy dry. The Shrivijaya have arrayed their navy in the Strait of Malacca. They will be expecting an attack from this Okay. But I believe that our navy is strong enough to face them head on. Our Khmer allies are occupied with fighting their old rivals. If we defeat the Tambrilinga, three of Armand's forces will be free to aid us in our struggle. Alrighty. Let's send in these elephant elephant archers. Ah, here's Sturdy of Armon. Oh yeah, those are the trade workshops we need to destroy. Or no, we need to we liberate them. In enemy lands. Sorry. From this Sorry. Order, Sorry. We will strike Sorry. out and conquer all of Shrivijaya. Kattuvin. Um. I guess have them help out our allies. Alrighty. I mean, I just kind of need to spam TCs everywhere. So I think this is Sumatra here that we're on right now. Anyway, we can start clearing up enemy camps. 
Oops. It's nice that we don't need houses. Oh, show. Oh. Let's get some of you guys going. Get some fishy fishers. Well, it looks like our navy wasn't quite good enough to take them on. <laughs> Rip. You guys go after that. Alrighty. Seems good. Sari. Man, I don't remember Surya Varman being this week when I was playing uh, Surya Varman 4. Do I have Malay allies? Control the Navy, Surya Varman. Oh yeah, local villages. I was like, because uh, we're getting the Malay bonus of extra dock line of sight. Thanks, guys. Ah! My messenger told me that you had crossed the ocean with your entire fleet to fight me, Rajendra. I was certain that he was lying. But alas, it seems that I executed him for telling the truth. Oh! Ah, well, if this is the death that you have chosen for yourself, I will happily wield the slaying sword. Oh well, you know, you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. You know, our pop is growing. Oh, the Chola Navy does give us, uh, does get reinforcements. I was gonna say because uh, otherwise uh, we might have sent them to their untimely demise. Yeah, the Theosadi are awesome, but they're not really that great against uh, fire ships. So it's helpful to have our own fire ships to be a meat shield. Or you could, add, of course, add in demo ships. You know, talking multiplayer. But yeah, we'll see uh, how effectively we can support uh, Surya Varman. There we go. Alrighty. Let's 
still have our transport ships hanging around. I assume this is the Strait of Malacca. Let's get a siege workshop going. Keep on making docks. I mean, if you really want to, you could. I mean, I'm not going to stop you. Anyway, we seem to be going along in a pretty nice clip here. Ah, oh, okay, there's another island over there. Well, for now, let's focus on helping out uh, Surti of Arman. Oops. Okay, okay, okay. Has been injured. Oh, oh well. Oh no. Need to get some Ellie archers going. Oh, they can totally recapture that, can't they? Get a treb. Okay, that's plenty of resources. We warned Emperor Sangrama about you, Rajendra. Oh yeah, we can't build but more the castles. Emperor's pride made him blind to the threat that he will pose. Fortunately, we prepared and mobilized when he would not. Prepare. To meet your end. Alrighty. Bombard tower time. Um, all right, so let's uh, start boarding over here. Get a leak cannon galleon going. Oh, lot 
lots of deforestation happening over here. Still have our uh, tons of fishing ships, which is nice. Hopefully it'll just take a couple trebs as well as our elephant archers to go ahead and clean all that stuff up. But yeah, we're using lots of our Theorosati in this scenario for show. Sure. Holy bananas, as I am wont to say. Now, in terms of raw DPS, I actually don't know what's better uh, versus ships. Bombard towers or keeps? Let's go with some demo ships. Get the full navy. A fully operational naval battle station. Go to hotkey seven because I have lots of hotkeys needed on hybrid maps. Okay. Well, I mean, Surti of Armand's done a ton of damage to the Tamberlinga, so I hope we'll be able to just sort of finish him off. Um, please attack. Hello? Get guilds. Yeah, that's not going to do a whole lot. Darum. Oh man, this map is like huge. You keep saying that, but it, uh, it's not stopping me, my man. man. Tambralinga lies in ruins. Noice. I am grateful for your help in this war, Rajendra. You can count on my support against Aw, oh, thanks, man. Honestly, I'd rather Surya Varman get this stuff. I don't really need it. Well, it turns out that keeps with heated shot are good, believe it or not. Get Woot Steel and Elite Rumi. Can uh, liberate this village, quote unquote. Alright, so let's send our navy, or sorry, our army, really, really more like our marines, back over to the mainland. Need lots of wood, of course, in a scenario where it's kind of a hybrid map. Cut 
Oh, I never got plate mail. Oops. I think this will still affect us if we... Like, for all of our subsequently conquered castles, if that makes sense. Actually, let's get, let's get another fishing ship, because I'm greedy. Oh yeah, heated shots, our friend. Ah! Liberated just like how Murica liberates people. Violently freeing them from people that they didn't ask to be freed from. Or violently freeing people who did not ask to be freed. And imposing our rule in the name of justice. That is the Murican way. Oh, man. We have 20 Therasada. I hope that's enough. Let's get some more fast fire ships. The ship is absolutely awesome, by the way. Like, it's such a cool ship. I, like, I don't care if it's not, you know, historically accurate. My understanding is that this ship literally just is 100% fantasy. I don't really care. It's a cool ship. Let's actually set an elite cannon galley in this guy over here, simply because it has the best line of sight. Oops. Let's see if we can repair you a little bit. But yeah, the, these keeps are uh, very helpful for us. Oh yeah, look at him go. Oh, crap. They recaptured it. Oh, we need some more fire ship meat shields. Oh, there's some gold up here. Um, let's keep this going. Damn. Oh, our Therasadai numbers are looking a little slim. Okay, we're starting to clear up over here. Damn it. Yeah, that's also still part of Shrivajaya. I mean, Saliendra, or Sailendra, like sail, like ship sail. Or Saliendra for the dyslexic among us. I'm not actually dyslexic, I shouldn't make fun of it. Apologies. Okay, let's get you. Again?
Probably don't need this many transports. Oh, there's stone over there as well. Oh my god, these guys are not messing around. Oh, Sudi Brahman's helping out. Nice. Oh, and those are very welcome resources. Let's get another Bombard Tower here to help out. Almost there. Trolling Navy is going to help us out. Let's add in some demos. Why not? Damn, that's a huge navy. Well, maybe our overland push can go a bit better. Keeping on. Lots of gold over here. There's also more gold over there that can be taken. Got it. Let's get some Trevs into this equation again. Yeah, so this is like Ache. And this is going all the way down towards Java. Stone to mine, sick.
Yeah, we need to make sure that they don't recapture everything. Enforcements. Okay, you guys really need to become fish traps. Send you guys up that way. Oh, that's a big, big reinforcing fleet. Steel essentially is just like, give your units, you know, between plus two to plus five attack versus enemy units. You know, at least most enemy units. Obviously against stuff like Teutonic Knights and Boyars it's even better. Uh, and against buildings it's like, not it doesn't do anything, but in general... You bet it is. Oh, wait, that's ally. You should be able to snipe that. See if you don't die. Feels good, man. We have one more castle left. Oh, that's uh, Selendra. Palambang is a major city on Sumatra today. The Navy still helping us out. Random light cavalry that's probably been there since the beginning of the game. Let's also get some more forward workshops. I really like this scenario. I know I've said that about pretty much every scenario in this campaign, but it's a great campaign. All of the campaigns and dynasties of India have been great. But you will have to see how they do on the tier list. Are they great compared to all of the other great campaigns? But uh, I, I think you can tell that uh, none of them are going into, <laughs> into D tier. And... Almost certainly none are going into C tier.
I feel like there's also a lot of different ways you can play this one in terms of like how much you want to focus on Navy, how much you want to focus on land. And I think in general, when you have a very naval-centric campaign like Regendra, because, you know, Dravidians, like, these guys were naval power, it's still important to give players options to do stuff on the land because naval combat can get really boring really fast if you're just spamming, you know, Imperial Age warships constantly. And some people just really don't like the naval aspect of Age of Empires, so giving them some options to use your land army is very nice. There we go, I think we got it. Ooh, that looked cool. Aww. Please, your highness. No. Grass, sad. I beg that you accept our surrender. Such is the fate of all who oppose Rajendra Chola. Dun dun dun. Such is the vengeance of the great Khan. And there we go, like father, like son, we completed the campaign. The fires of Srivijaya still raged as we celebrated our victory in the Imperial Palace. Empress Sangrama and his officials were invited to publicly swear fealty to me. To a man they all proclaimed their love for their new ruler. Love indeed, for all hatred had been beaten out of them. For the first time in decades, I felt perfectly calm. I knew then that my transformation was complete. I had proven my father right, and built an empire that spans across oceans. I had unleashed the greatness within me, and overcome all of my childish delusions. In doing so, I had learned one great truth, that there is no such thing as corruption. It is only what the weak call the will of the strong, and I am no longer weak. The child within me is dying. The man has taken its place. The serpent writhes and withers away, slain by the hero's hand, and the captive waters rush out into the world once more. So ends the tale of Indra and the Virtra, and so ends the tale of Rajendra Chola. Damn. Good stuff. That's a pretty good KD. That's a pretty good KD. Shriva Jai, of course, had the most stuff, but it all got wrecked. It was nice to have a sort of different take on Suri of Armon 4, which played out much more like a straightforward like 2v2 hybrid map sort of thing. Whereas this was certainly more complex, but still had that, you know, feel to it. Okay, where's the bandit? Here's the bandit. <gasps> Oh, the bandit found love and wealth. Oh, man. They got a pile of loot. Got a nice little hut sea. Aww. The wandering bandit has finally found a home. How nice. Yeah, this map is obviously huge, but most of it's kind of empty ocean. This is, uh, Selendra? Who look like they are in Java. And we pretty much conquered most of the island, just kind of going from west to east. I think we got even all of the villages. So, yeah, good stuff there. Here's the Malay Peninsula. Like, this is where Singapore would be. This is like Johor. Yeah, really, really fun campaign. Here's all the little islands off the coast of Sumatra. And that, guys, is the Dynasties of India campaigns. All three of them are complete. Of course, hard difficulty, got all the achievements. And I just hope you guys enjoyed watching. Of course, definitely subscribe to the channel. There's going to be tons more AOV2 content. Don't worry, that's not, you know, letting up anytime soon. And uh, once I get through these campaigns for the tier list, I'm... As I recorded this, I have uh, Algirdas and Kastutis and Yadviga done. I just need to do Yanjishka. Uh, but then I'll go over to the Dynasties of India campaign. So let's just see what the future has in store for us, shall we? Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.